that experience actually happened when I was a kid. Um, one of the, the first memories that my mom has told me about um, as she noticed that I was kind of a, an engineer at heart was when I, um, three years old, I found a screwdriver and I took our TV remote apart. And I couldn't put it back together, but, you know, um, I wanted to know how. The real moment, I guess, when I learned, or like for myself, I knew I wanted to be an engineer is unfortunately my grandma had a stroke and was in the hospital. But when we were visiting her, she was on a feeding, um, she had a feeding tube in her stomach and the pump that was regulating the amount she would get each day. My dad was looking at it and checking it out and I was kind of like wondering how it worked. And he's like, you know, Lori Beth, an engineer probably designed that. And I was like, that's really cool. I didn't know that engineers could help people like with their sickness. And so I got interested in biomedical engineering. And that's why I chose mechanical engineering at Montana State. incredibly exciting. It's empowering to know that with this education I have the possibility to make a difference, make a change. It definitely speaks to the quality of the education that I'm getting and I know that what I'm learning and what I'm being taught is definitely worthwhile if these companies are actively recruiting on campus every year and they're taking interns and they're taking new hires from the school. It definitely puts confidence in my education. The program has given me the ability and the resources to tackle unique problems using million dollar equipment that only exists here at MSU. You know, we, always, we always talk about in engineering that all the equations are part of a tool belt, so they're, the teachers are giving you the tools of what you're going to need when you go out into the workplace. And then how you use those tools is different depending on where you go work. Engineering is all about using imagination and creativity to solve problems. I think that as I got into engineering, I got so that I took things I learned in classroom and applied to what I saw out in the world and I went from going, oh, this is how it is, to being like, oh, how does this really work? Sometimes I still feel like a kid at heart. I'm always asking why, why does this work, how does this get built? At a young age, I took a, apart the TV remote and couldn't put it back together, but even from that age, I always wanted to know how stuff works, how does it go together? It feels good to be able to explain the world around you. An engineer has to be able to creatively solve problems. An engineer has to be able to attack a problem with tenacity and not give up. An engineer has to be able to recognize problems, not only mathematically, but socially. An engineer can't give up. 